All right, we are back in 4.5, cams in motion, and I'm down in number four on the Project Lead the Way site, where we are talking about adding something called work features in Autodesk Inventor. So you're gonna have to go ahead and open up your cam uh, part file in Autodesk Inventor. But just to give you a little bit of background to understand why we're about to do this, um, in order to properly constrain our cam, in our CAM mechanism assembly, we need to add work features. So what does that mean? Pretty much we're gonna take your CAM and put it into an assembly like this and put it in here. And in order to properly can get it right in the exact spot that we want it, we need to add in these work features, which are like these planes and the yellow and kind of green tints that you see here to make sure it's right exactly where we want it. And why does it have to be exactly where we want it? Well, when we go ahead and turn this thing, we want that cam to be um, simulating the motion that it would in real life. So that's why we're about to do this. So for my example, I'm gonna be using the pair cam, but you are going to apply the same steps to your cam, whether it's a snail or a centric or the hexagon or hexagonal um, cam you're gonna apply the same steps. So just follow along with me and do the same thing. All right, the first thing we need to do is add in a work plane that goes right through the middle. If you look at the right side view, we want a work plane that goes right through here. And if you remember from the picture, you can kind of see it. It's, these, it's this pink one right here. So we need to do that. So I'm gonna hit the home button again. To do that, I'm gonna drop down this plane option underneath the 3D model ribbon inside of the work feature panel. So if I drop that down, there's many different options for adding in work planes or work features. Both are the same thing, just different names. The one that we're gonna wanna do is a mid plane between two planes. And if you hover over these, it kinda gives you a quick little synopsis of what it is. But let's click on that one. So again, it's a we're creating a work plane between two other planes. So Remember, we want it right in the middle of this. So if I click on this front face, and then I orbit around, shift in the mouse wheel, and then click on the back face, notice how it starts to give me a preview already. If I hover over that back face, it's gonna, and then I left click, it just created that work plane right in the middle where we want it. So that's the first one. Go ahead and hit a quick save. We got two more to go. The next one that we're going to do, we need to create a uh, axis. We want to create a work axis right in the middle of this cylinder. So to do that, up here in the work features again, I'm going to click on axis. And all I simply have to do is click on this cylinder. Notice it previewed it and you saw a little yellow line. If you zoom in there, there is now a work axis there that we could work off of. And then what I'm going to do is just left click and drag that circle out just to make it a little bit more prominent and visible. So that way I know that the work axis is there. If I don't do that, it's a little small and kind of hard to see. Go ahead and save again. And this last one takes a few steps. And to do it, we need to go back into the work features. We're going to drop the, the point menu down this time. And in the point menu, we're going to go with intersect intersect of a plane slash surface and line so I'm going to click that and then I'm going to click on the front face here and then I'm going to click on my work axis notice it's previewing it right there see where that little X is and then once I click that it adds the point so you now see that point right there um, where that face intersected this axis. So now we have a work point right there. All right, so we got, we did this one, then we added the axis, and then we added the point. So three things so far. And to do this next one, um, and actually just so you could see it, see this green one that you see here going uh, perpendicular to the pink one in all of these? That's the next one we're going to do. So to do that, you're going to go to Plane. I'm going to drop this down, and I'm going to choose, where are you? Parallel to Plane through Point. OK, 
Okay, so it's going to be parallel to a plane and it's going to go through a point. Alright, so to do this we need to drop down our origin folder which allows us to see different planes that we can work on or different axes. The one that we want to reference is the YZ plane. So I'm going to left click that one and then if you look down on the bottom it says select plane or point. This is where we want to choose our point. So next I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to left click that point right there. And once I do that it adds in that other work plane that we wanted. So now if I click on this I can make this a little bit bigger. Whoops, I didn't want to move it. Uh, I want to see those two little arrows so I can make that a little bit bigger um, if I'd like to just so that way I could see it. So in your part file I should see this work plane. Again notice it created a, a link to it over here in the browser so I should see that work plane. I should see this one I should also see my work axis and a work point. So one, two, three, four. And then go ahead and save. And then now this is ready to go into that simulation assembly that we're going to be doing next.